Hey, what's up guys? Philip here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Logitech M585 mouse. Now you may have heard about this mouse. It's from Logitech, obviously. Here it says Logi. I guess they're doing things a little differently now with their branding on, and how they uh, name their products. But this mouse is really good for multitaskers. This thing has a lot of features that are built for programmers, designers, or if you just have a lot of things going on in the background. This mouse makes it easier for you to achieve your multitasking tasks. So one of the cool features about this mouse, you have a back and forth button here. Another cool feature is you have these modes right here, these different modes, mode one and mode two. If you click it, I'm on mode 2 right now and you can push it to go to mode 1. If you're on mode 1, your shortcuts change. So this can be a hotkey for your browser and this can be for your designing app or programming app, whatever it is that you're multitasking with. You can also program the tilt buttons here. Like you can do left tilt here and right tilt and you can also do middle mouse button push. Another thing that makes this mouse really good at multitasking is a new feature of Logitech release called Flow. And what that does is you can copy and paste things from two different computers. So you can copy and paste between a Mac and a PC. You can copy and paste text, images, and a whole bunch of other things. And that's a really cool feature if you're using more than one computer to do things. Its design is a palm grip. So what that means is your palm rests on it more. It's not ambidextrous, it's a righties only mouse. It fits pretty good on my hand. It's, uh, it's more of a claw grip kind of style mouse. I would definitely recommend this mouse if you have smaller hands or if your hand just gets tired after using like a big mouse. I've used a big mouse in the past and it's just not very comfortable with me. But if you had mid-sized hands or small hands, I think this mouse is perfect for you. A little bit on the weight on this mouse. It does weigh 3.6 ounces, which is very light for a mouse. I find it to be comfortable for my hand. It doesn't feel like I'm dragging it. This mouse does use AA batteries, or I'm sorry, yeah, one AA battery, and I got one in there right now. And this battery is estimated to last two years, 24 months. I've been using this thing for over a year now, and it's been lasting me, like I haven't changed the battery once yet, and it's still in here. This mouse does have software you can use to rewire how the scrolling works, the sensitivity, how the shortcuts work, and a few other things. Let's hop on the computer and I'll show you guys how the software works for this thing and how I use it for my setup. So if you type in Logitech Options, it's going to take you to this page here and you can find the download link right here. I already have this app installed, so we can find it over here. So you have two different views here. You have the top view of the mouse and the side view of the mouse. You can program any of these buttons to do anything you want. So the way I like to use it, with the scroll left, I like to open an application with it. And if you go to desktop, you can say open uh, application. And when you click on this, you can open an app. So in my case, I like to use an app called Figma, which is for design. For this button, I like to use my browser. So I'm gonna go to desktop here, open application, and I'm gonna set my Chrome to be the other button, Google Chrome. All right, so now, check this out. I'm gonna hit this button right here. It opens my browser. I'm gonna hit the other one. It opens my Figma file. It's really convenient when you have to do a lot of switching there and back. And that makes it really nice for multitasking. Another thing you can do, if you click on the point and scroll tab here, you can adjust how fast you want the mouse to go and the scroll speed. And the if you want the scroll to be reversed or normal. And if you click on this flow tab here, this is cool. This is that feature I was talking about earlier. You can switch between computers over here if you have two computers and you can set up the flow and copy and paste things between two different computers. If you're looking for something a little larger than this mouse though and you don't think it's right for you, I do have a review on the Logitech Marathon M720 mouse. Go ahead and check out that video if you want to see an alternative to this mouse which is also made for multitasking. Alright, and that's been my review on the Logitech M585 mouse. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up this video. And if you want to see more tech review videos in the future, click that subscribe button. Alright guys, till next time.